All right, welcome. I thought I'd do a quick video here of, uh, I mentioned this a few videos back, <coughs> Avalon Digital coming out with a computer version of uh, <coughs> War and Peace, specifically Mark McLaughlin's version, um, six or seven from uh, One Small Step Games. Here's the Kickstarter um, page, uh, which I did apply, <coughs> and one of the pledges was to get access to the beta early. They were um, <coughs> planning on doing it Q1 of 2023, but I just got my keys from Steam, so <coughs> um, this is available. I would go to Kickstarter, look this up if you're interested. Uh, the beta, from what I can tell, is not yet fully featured, um, but <coughs> it is available on Steam here. Well, you get the keys from the Kickstarter, then you go to Steam and add it, and then <coughs> you can have access to it. And these keys will go all the way through to release. So I uh, thought I'd do a quick video showing you um, how this works. So here's the Steam page. You can check this out. <coughs> See the graphics are very much like the, uh, I believe it's version 6 from One Small Step. Uh, but the actual game I've already installed and uh, there it is right here. Um, and just a quick show and I also have the rules back here from One Small Step. You can get the rules for the board game from One Small Step, which pretty much uh, gives you, uh, besides the interface, you know, how to do stuff on the interface, it pretty much gives you the background rules <coughs> and potentially the charts. So looking at this early beta, um, we can see what they've already got going. Uh, yeah, rules and tutorials here. <coughs> so they do have a set of tutorials if you're not familiar with the game. Um, here's, you know, Entrenchment Supply. <coughs> you can click on any of those and show that, um, which which I'm not going to do here, because uh, they don't quite work sometimes. But uh, maybe in a later video, if there's interest, in it, I could go through all the tutorials, although there may be videos out there already. Um, you do have, you know, and if you click on the basic rules, I haven't quite figured out what I'm looking at here. It's not the full game. Yeah, this is just what you can do. And I think this is the last thing. So it's kind of an outline for now. But that's no problem because, like I said, I can download this from the One Small Step website and uh, give me a pretty good understanding of the rules. And I do like their uh, seven, well, 17 pay, well, no, 17, 16 the basic and then they've got some optional rules here that can be incorporated and I think these optional rules are also incorporated uh, here let's see what they offer here's the rear maneuver okay the cavalry charge French Imperial okay they don't have uh, Russian patriotism demoralized combat or fog of war necessarily that's in the board game Okay, um, so I think they're still building this out, and that's fine. This is an early beta. I also don't think the AI is really set to work, which you're going to see in a second. Um, I can start a new game here, and they do have a number of scenarios. <coughs> I don't have the scenario book handy, but uh, I'm sure that matches up here. <coughs> Marengo, Austerlich, Vagrum, my pronunciation is horrible. Russian campaign, wow, Napoleon Bay, I think. They're probably all in here. I haven't clicked to see which ones are in here and not. Um, I just wanted to show the Italian campaign. It's like the intro in the game itself, okay? Um, and you do choose solitaire or multiplayer online. Uh, there may be an email option, I don't know, at some point. And then you can pick which side to play or have them randomize it. Um, and then you got options. These are the option rules. Turn them off or on, just those three. So I'm going to go ahead and do the quickly the intro campaign with the Empire. And it starts up. Oh, bye. Look at that music. Hopefully it's not too loud. Mm, I think I got it set right. If not, I'll just talk louder. Um, you probably don't even hear it. But basically it goes through phases. Now, I am wondering, uh, I don't know what the options, but here, 
We get some special rules for the scenario, that's helpful. Historical notes. Designer's notes. Okay, nice. Again, the optional rules haven't been chosen. Um, and the one I'm really interested in is victory conditions. And they've got to get Genoa, Milan, Toulon, Turin, and then one of these. Okay, so I'd write that down or look at it, but that tells me what I need to do. And I can hide pieces. There, I can see Genoa is a target here. Um, let's see. And then you can click on these to see each unit and what they're composed of. So these are the Austrians. Here are the French. Let me zoom out a little. We haven't started the game yet, but here this is, has a cavalry and an infantry. This has two leaders already and an unknown. And this is Napoleon. Normally you can only have 10, but Napoleon and Wellington can have 12. So this is the main strike force. And they're opposite Genoa, so I'll, I'll keep this simple. Play the first turn and try and take Genoa. And I'm going to have to deal with that guy. So maybe I'd look at the reinforcement schedule. Uh, that's nice. You can see him here. Scroll bar works. Oh my. Um, Innsbruck, they get some reinforcements. Not many. Okay. I could wait a turn before I took on the main guy. Um, so, what we need to do is you move phase by phase. First phase is, well, normally it's attrition and then alliance. Special rules say no alliance phase, and there's no attrition on the first turn. So Kellerman, a cavalry, and oh, four infantry, that's solid. Um, and you do see here, three infantry. Yeah, this is what the numbers mean. Three infantry, one cav, um, the one leadership value, and two morale. So that's not strong enough to take him on, but he could help when the time comes. Um, and then we have these forces back here. So let's see, and you can always check your supply path, see it got to be within 3 MP of a supply source. They use these barrels, which are pretty much in cities here. Um, I think they'll address in the rules where one strength point you can start building a supply line, but for this one they're keeping it simple. So I want to attack here, and this is as strong as can be. Um, so, let's see, I don't even know what... Oh, we're in the reinforcement phase, so... I need to move to the next phase, land movement. And this light blue bar means the units can move. Um, I'm going to detach Messina. Um, let me see if that works. Can he move any... He can't move. That doesn't matter. Um, apparently none of these units can move, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, here we go. When you move, you can move, normally infantry can move 3 MP if with a leader. That's the green. I think this is 1 extra, 2 extra, forced march. Um, so what I'm going to do with this guy is move him here so that now he can pick this up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it lets me combine. Well, I can't do that right now. Uh, let's see. This guy's going to attack here. And I'm going to move this guy to Grenoble. Alright. I don't know if moving Messina out helped, but I wish I could move him. Oh, there's the merge. Oh, he can move now. I'm going to move him here. You'll see there. there's logic to this later. If I try and help him with a combined attack, you got to roll a certain number based on the leadership value. So let's move to the next one. Land combat. And what I'm going to do is... Yep. I'm just going to say attack. Okay, so we've done that. So now we move to the next phase. Fortifications, I guess that. Do they run into the city? 
Um, actually, that's probably what I do. And this is where the there is no AI yet, so I have to do their move. Um, but this is where they can be outside the city or inside the city. So let's say they just... Well, then, then you'd have to besiege them with an equal force. Well, let's see the combat. So I'm going to leave them outside the city, but in hindsight I'd probably not do that. Okay, now we have the combat. These are the odds. <coughs> Plus three. And I think this explains... Yeah, why it's two to one. They're doubled in strength. Um, so let's see. Let's go back to the battle map and roll the dice. That's not a good roll. But morale down by two. They're going to run away. So let's see here. Uh, I think we click to the next phase. Oh, looks like the French lost one. So the French have to pick what they want to lose. This is what the computer is recommending. They pulled one out of here, one infantry, and they said lose one. I could switch it to the cavalry. <coughs> You'll see. Uh, and I like this. This checkbox says when I've done too much. So here I could get rid of the cavalry, which I'm not going to do. There we go. So I got one infantry. Okay, voluntary withdrawal. They can do it if they want, but they're not going to. Now they have to choose their losses. Again, recommended, done. Additional commitment. Um, they may try to get these guys in there, but mandatory withdrawal. And it looks like this guy has to withdraw. Yep, morale minus two. Um, I could click on it and randomize. Well, I'll show you this. It'll force you. You still have forces which have to withdraw. Their hex of retreat will be determined at random. No. Let's come here. Say withdraw. And they've got two choices. So let's send them here. Ugh, they lost somebody withdrawing, too. All right. So that's done. Okay. I don't want to miss this one. I think... This phase is advance after combat. There it is, advance after combat. And Genoa. <coughs> First round of combat, ran them out. They should have fleed in the city in hindsight. So we click next, and I think this is still the first turn. Now we go over to these guys' turn. That's kind of weird. I'll have to look at that. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, this is the Austrians. They got a reinforcement somewhere. Um, wow, he can't really take these guys on. He can't take him on. Anyway, let's see. Um, yeah, really no reason to attack either of these. They're in cities and doubled, which is stronger. He's now in a city. Um... This guy could run away. Uh, let's see here. Well, I'm not an expert at this game yet. I'm just trying to get the... Uh, I'm looking at the other places they can go. Yeah, it looks like they're limited in that space, too. For this Italy. They, I guess they could run to Italy. Well, maybe they can get on the other side of that river here. Let's do that. Like I know what I'm doing. I'll put him here. And I think there's... I forgot where I get the chance to merge. Well, I don't have it. They moved. This guy will stay here, and I do not know what to do with him. Hmm. I don't know. Let's pull him back to here. Probably not wise. I wonder if I can undo. Oh, look at that. Okay, it let me do it. That's an interesting test there. Um, he probably wants to keep there. Just let him keep there. Uh, we can check his supply path. Looks good. See this guy's supply path, where he is. This guy, I hope he has a supply path. Well, I can't check it right now. Well, let's check that guy. There we go. Okay, he's got us. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, maybe he should have moved there. That's on the optional list there, or Venice. All right, so land movement's done. Our Austrians are not going to do any combat, and now we move to June. And it is the French turn here. Oh, this is what it's for. It tells you all the events that happened. Um. <laughs> They're all strong enough. Oh, well, let's try something. Let's do one last thing. Um, let's see. I don't know what phase we're in. We're not in the movement, so let's go here. Oh, this is attrition. Here you go. Genoa has more than three. Wow. Okay, they only lost one. That's good. You can see the table here for attrition. I guess the roll was a one. And we have reinforcements. Way up here. Great. All right, so we're done with reinforcements. Now we're in movement. Now I'm just going to do this as my last thing. Uh, he goes there. Ah, they got a force march to get there. Let's see if they get there. Um, select path of hexes. Okay, did that work? What? I don't know what I'm doing here. Ooh, I wonder if I can cancel that. Well, let's see what happens. Well, they got it. He made it. And then this guy. So, Napoleon will uh, cross a bridge of all things. Well, we'll see if these guys can add on. This guy, maybe. Okay, let's see. Land combat. Ooh, do I have to... Okay, let's see if it makes me... Who do I attack? Yep, see, I could attack either of those. But let's get this guy. I do not know what that means. Okay. Um, next. Fortifications. Does he... This is where I say... Does he run away into the city? And then I could besiege him with six. Let's take a look at that. Um, or I could assault the city. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. Who goes in the city? Six strength points. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's got six. So they could... I wonder if there's a way to collect more than one. Yeah, there is. There we go. They're all in the city. All right, so they're all hiding in the city now. Oof, that's not good odds. So just by hiding in the city, let's do the siege. And I need six. You need to have at least the same strength points of the siege force, seven. So... Let's add him. Oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? Where did he come from? Five, six, seven. Oh, I got too much. Okay, now I got five, six, seven, and I got a green checkbox. So we have a siege of Turin. And it's the next turn. Let's see where we're at. Well, it's not. It's the Austrians. Ooh, and they're out of supply. That's what that means. So Napoleon's left with this. So he could take his other forces, mass, and clean everything else up. He's trapped him here. Uh, and they have attrition. They have reinforcements. Uh, these are kind of strong, but let's see if they can do anything. Okay. Does Napoleon have enough forces to clean up everything else? Okay, we could detach units. Or we could sally forth out of the port. But, we'll see. Nine. I don't know why it ended up being nine. Uh, they'll just stay there. 
Um, let's see where these guys can go. Well, with a zero leader, the odds of force marching there are not good. Um, I don't know. Really don't know what I'm doing. They made it. Awesome. Get it down, see if there's none of them say merge. Okay. But now they can go gallivanting and get anything they want. Or they could have. Oh, they could have gone back and take Genoa. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, I'm a noob at this game. Land combat. I don't think that's a good idea. That's across the river. They will stay there. Is that okay? Yes. And then we go here. And that's 20 minutes. I think it gives you an idea of the game. Um, like I said, I need to spend a little more time. I'm getting the hang of the commands and how to do stuff. Um, but yeah, it could be fun. The bigger scenarios, etc. So, I'll end it here. Um, give me your feedback. Uh, let me know uh, if there's anything else you want to see. Like I said, this is early beta, disclaimer. And it looks like no AI opponent. Um, but uh, it does somewhat match the rules here. It's just got to figure out the GUI or the interface. But uh, it does actually look like the game, too. Oh, the reinforcements are appearing up here. And here. And you have to get leaders to go get them. So, anyway, I'll, I'll end it here. Uh, thanks for listening. And if you'd like, click like. Um, uh, you can also please subscribe if you haven't already to uh, get further of these. And uh, comments are greatly appreciated. And otherwise, I'll see you at the next recording. Yeah, give me your feedback if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.